What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of This War of Mine. Today we're going to hit up the Decrepit Squad again and we're going to try and bring back as many materials as we can to upgrade our home. I think we've got enough food so there's danger there, there's a couple new locations. Actually the quiet house might be a good run. You can steal from them. So the quiet house is the old people and you can go in and you can steal all kinds of good stuff from them. I'm going to wait until we're really, really, really kind of out of luck before we go to any desperate means to get things done. We've got enough food to last for right now. And if I can bring back the right parts with me when we go running around, let's go ahead and he's going to guard. He's going to guard. We're going to scavenge this time. We're not going to bring anything with us because obviously we don't need it. We still got cigarettes. We still got... Oh, I still had cigarettes. I should have got rid of that then. Hmm. At this point, what we really, 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 really need to bring back with us are a ton of componentry. So I'm going to focus on that on this run. Taking a look at our inventory, componentry is what's lacking right now. So let's go for it. I think if I could bring back like 60 components with us, we shouldn't have to worry about it for a very, very long chunk of the game. Now, we do want to be kind of careful in here. On occasion, people move around in this game. I'm also going to check and see if the hobo is still over here just like hanging out. I mean, technically, I guess we're all hobos at this point. There's no real distinguishing. We're all homeless now. So I suppose that's kind of like a weird thing to say, but... Also, hobo, the difference between a homeless person and a hobo, I figure I'd throw this out there just because I know the difference. A hobo is short for homeward bound, or at least that's what it's speculated that means. And it's for people that used to ride the rails back in the time of the Great Depression. They would just ride the rails, they would jump onto cars randomly, on trains, and they would just kind of hitch rides all over the country looking for work. It meant homeward bound, and it's what hobos did back then. So we've got sugar right there. What's going on in here? I wonder if I can scare this guy off. It looks like it's the old lady. Let me fill up on stuff first. And then what I'll do is after I fill up on stuff, if it turns out to be dangerous, we can book the hell out of here if we have to. But if she scatters and runs somewhere else, I think we'd be in decent shape. More componentry! That's all that I care about today. Components, components, components. Because we are going to do a whole lot of renovation at our house. We've got a lot of things to get done. Alright, let's get this little location taken care of. A little bit more sugar. Obviously very, very valuable to us because we have a distillery. Not going to take any of that stuff for right now. Was there anything in here? Is it safe? I think this is the room with the guy talking about being an artist or something like that. Oh, it looks like there's actually a barricade right there. Okay. Well, once again, let me fill up real fast because there are things that I do want and there's things that I don't want from this trip. So much sugar laying around. I feel like this town is like... The locality where Willy Wonka's factory is. Sugar everywhere. Someone probably painted this structure or this picture recently. There are rich looking people sitting together in a littered ruined building. A metaphor of some sort, I believe. I don't know if this lady's going to try and kill me. She's definitely looking at me. I don't know. Let's go down in here and we'll find out. Good evening, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I don't know you. I don't know you from shit. I'm very hungry. Could you help me? What do you have? I ain't got nothing, man. I don't have any food. Are you... What are you? Perhaps you could bring some food next time? What happens if I bring you food? You're not going to try and murder me, are you? I'm pretty worried about getting murked right now. I'm gonna be real honest. Let's move some stuff around. I've been jumped enough times in this game by random people. But like, God, it sucks. It sucks losing a character because somebody decides to lose their temper and like hulk out on you. Oh, it's so miserable. You'd be like, no, I thought we were friends. I mean, I know we're not friends, but you know, I thought you wouldn't like jump me and murder me outright. I thought there'd be like some kind of warning first. All right, well, let me loot your house first. And then after I take everything I want from here, then I'll come back and help you. Yeah, you're saying I'm heartless now, which makes me feel kind of nervous, actually. I won't bother you anymore. I feel bad, man. I'll come back with food next time. Maybe you... I don't know. I'll give you something. Sometimes there's these little random quests and things around that you actually get something when you, like, supply food. I don't know. We'll find out. We got what we wanted, though, today. We definitely got what we wanted. Hopefully we didn't get raided again because we can't handle it right now. If we got raided again, it's just like... <laughs> I don't like being victimized. Being victimized frustrates me. 
All right. What's well, the long and skinny, or the long and fat, depending on how we took it? We didn't get raided. Okay, so we brought back 10 sugar and 56 components. Let's go ahead and we'll have everybody... You're slightly sick. Go ahead and go to bed, man. Over here with Pavla. We're going to start off, and we got a whole bunch of inventions to do today. That's the point. That's all that we're really leaning towards right now. Let's finish off the water so that we can get some more. We don't have a ton of water, but I would prefer to keep the moonshine brewing if at all possible. So there it is. We'll finish that on off. I'd like to get some more weapons made, but it's like one of those weird situations where sometimes you just don't have what you need. How much water do we have right now? I could look at our things. We have eight water, so yeah, we really can't distill any brew. Eh. Boozing it up right now is not the plan. That is not the plan. What else we got going on? I think now would probably be the time where... How many of these do we have? Four filters? Yeah, I think now would be the time that we probably want to upgrade our workshop. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take 14, 7, and 5. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go for it. And so that's going to be the upgrade of the day. What this is going to do is it's going to make a whole lot of other stuff available to us so that we can survive a little bit easier. Maybe start growing our own food, you know. Turning our location into a long-term sustainable location to be at as opposed to just like this location that we're squatting in for the moment. There's going to be an upgrade which allows us to board up all the windows and make it easier to defend. There's going to be a whole bunch of good stuff here. So now... We can board up the house. I think that's a really, really, really good idea. I think that's a fantastic idea, in fact. We need to find a broken guitar before we can do that. There's an armchair. Some of the new stuff that we have is an herbal workshop so that we can make ourselves herbal medication to get a head start on anybody that starts to get sick. There's an herbal garden where we can grow tobacco there. There's a trap for small animals. I've never actually made this before, and so I think this might be a decent thing to play around with on this go-through. It takes a lot of parts. But it might work. You never know. I mean, let's go ahead and board up the windows first. It's going to take one hour to board up all the locations. But I think it's a good plan, considering we have a giant hole in the side of our house. This is definitely a hole in our defensive perimeter. A literal hole in the side of our defensive perimeter. We have a lot of medication and, like, good things that we want to hold on to. And so if we get robbed again, we're going to have to start robbing. That's the thing, is this is kind of a do-unto-others type of situation. If people loot and rob the hell out of us, unfortunately... They did it to us, so we gotta go back and do it to other people now to ensure our own survival. I know that doesn't morally justify it, but that's just the truth of the matter. Oh, hell, who is this guy? Hey, people, I need to talk to you. About what? Good day, my name's Anton. Forgive me this intrusion, you see I'm not so young anymore, and frankly I don't think I could survive this war on my own. Would you be so kind as to let me stay with you? I promise I'll work to earn my keep. Yeah, we'll take an extra body right now. You don't know how grateful I am. Well, you know, if you're here to help, you're here to help. We've got two beds. The two beds, this still works with our rotation. Two people sleep all day long so you can rotate everything will work out fine now we have three people we can leave on guard duty which is even better i think i'll think about making the anton let's get you over here on this side i'm gonna have pavel go ahead and jump in bed that leaves us oh man that gunshot sounded super close that was gnarly or i'm sorry that bomb sounded like it was real close jesus this is not a great place to be over here, we just got a little bit more water, so let's see if maybe we can... We've got 12 water now. We've only got one fuel. I prefer to wait a little bit, I think, so let's leave Anton where he's at on this side. What can we do with what we've got? We've got to be able to make some more weapons. That's 100%. We need more weapons. We need more things in order to defend ourselves. On this side, we can make ourselves another knife. I'm going to do that. Because another knife seems like it's going to be pretty valuable at this point. We're going to have three people on guard. That leaves us with a crowbar and two knives to defend ourselves with. I'm also going to make the rat trap. Let's go ahead and we'll put the rat traps in here. I don't know if these are good to stack. And I don't know what we have to use as bait either. Whether we have to use our own meat as bait. But you can eat a rat. I mean, rat is edible. It's, it's not the greatest thing ever. In fact, I don't think I've had it. But I've had raccoon. And so I figure raccoon has got to be at least somewhat, you know, similar. On this side. Hey, buddy. You're not even... Yeah, get over here. You're not even tired anymore. You're using up beds while other people could be sleeping. We've got a lot of hungry people. What do we prime this with? You can use canned food or you can use fertilizer. No, I sold my fertilizer. 
Okay, so that's I didn't know that that was in the game yet. So unfortunately, do we use? Uh, let's try it. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I guess we can give it a go. I don't know what we're gonna pop out on this. I mean, we may get something. We may not. Let's go ahead and make some more fuel out of the remaining wood. Because we're going to have to make ourselves a stove pretty soon anyways. Anton wasn't actually that tired, which is good. That actually helps us out slightly. He's going to be over here doing that. I think a lot of people just kind of hanging out right now. We boarded up the building, though, which I'm pretty pleased about. I don't know if that's going to help with heat and making everything a little bit more survivable, but it might. I mean, how hungry is everybody right now? Hold on. Hungry. 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 Okay, so make the three meals. Go ahead and do that real fast, and we'll try and have everybody eat before we do anything else. I don't know if Pavla is actually going to be ready to eat, but I'm going to try and make three meals. Anton's at full stomach capacity, so he should be alright for right now. We made it into the eighth day. I think the next thing we're going to have to do might get a little bit more suspect. We don't have anything to trade at the moment, which is the big part. Anton, come down here and... Take a look at that. You come down. We'll get you. No, 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 no. You come down here. Let's go ahead and tune the radio real fast. See if maybe we can find anything. It's cool outside with clouds and possibly rainfall. Okay, so that's going to be the same thing that we already had. Day 7, it's going to read the same. We'll be a little bit closer to that one. Come on. Sing me a tune here. I hear a voice. There it is. Oh, it's the same one, I think. There's the classical station. Beware of bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. So that means we're probably going to get hit tonight. What is this? As if war wasn't enough, crime is on the rise in the city of Pogorin. There are reports of armed assaults and robberies. Okay, so I think we know what we've got to wait for now. It's not good, but it's not helpful either. I mean, it's not... I'm sorry, it can't be helped, is what I said. Or what I meant to say anyways. He's slightly wounded. Let's go ahead and have him eat. I'm going to try and have everybody eat right now that can. We'll make some more water while we still got time. Two rain catches is definitely looking like a solution right now, though. Come on, buddy. I need you to hurry up. I need everybody to eat right now. There we go. If the food goes cold, it's not quite as helpful to you anymore. We're officially out of food, so we need to come up with a plan right now. If we don't have one, we don't have one, but we need to make something happen. He's still only slightly wounded, so hopefully that'll work out. I'm going to leave everybody on guard duty tonight, because that's how I like to play the game. We'll leave people on guard duty. We can rob the quiet house. It's an option. The supermarket's a little bit iffy. There's a bad event there that could turn out very, very negatively for you if you don't play it right. Semi-detached house. That one's a little bit risky because there's two buildings. One of them has a bunch of people in it. The other one does not. The one that does not have people only has supplies. The one that does have a bunch of people has all kinds of good stuff. We could just rob the old people, and since we're out of food, let's do the supermarket. Let's see what we can do. The supermarket is very, very risky, but we can get some good stuff out of it if we play it right. I'm not going to bring a weapon because the event that happens here, you're not going to win it unless you have, like, serious military ordinance. Alright, so let's check the front of the building first. Food. Okay. So already, we're looking pretty good right now. Can I climb up there? No, I can't. Okay, so we want to be as quiet as possible going into here. This is going to get intense. Bear with me, everybody. There's a sound coming from the opposite side of the door. Shit. I'm going to go upstairs. It's a pretty name for such a pretty face. 
Yeah, this is the event that I was talking about. This one's this one's hard to go through right here. The door is boarded up from the other side. He's saying that he'll give her food if she like blows him or something. I don't know. It turns into a very sort of rapey situation. And the game, like, your characters get all depressed if you don't help, but these guys have, like, machine guns, they're soldiers, and it's just like, there's nothing you can do, like... I've never been at this point in the game where I've been able to help out at all. You can't climb up there? Okay. We can't get in over here either, can we? Ugh. I really dislike this event. I don't know, it makes me feel bad. I wish that there was something I could do, because I am the kind of person that likes to step in on things. And be like, whoa, what's going on here? You know what I mean? But unfortunately, it's not manageable. Oh, shit. Damn, son. Calm down. God. Yeah. Yeah. This game is real. This game is really real. And what I mean by that is that the game does not pull any punches when it comes to these situations. That soldier is more than capable of shooting me repeated times if he wants to. God. And yeah, you do get actually, you get like a depression tick for this, so... Keep that in mind. I don't know... There's another soldier. I think there's two, if I remember correctly. And this is definitely not a good idea. Just explaining. This is a really, really bad idea. I don't think I saw any soldiers up here, though. We need food. We need food really badly. So if I can get my hands on food, that's all that I really care about right now. We got some fertilizer, but we need a lot of that in order to do what I want to do with it. Let me get rid of some of this random other stuff that's not going to be serving us any purpose right now. Shit. I'm getting nervous about this. I'm getting real nervous right now. Let's unboard this door so that later on we can come through here if we need to. It's going to make some noise, but we can watch for anybody that tries to come in here. Okay, and always make sure you close doors in this game, too, because the characters are smart. They notice when doors are open. We've only got a little bit of time left. Let's... I'm gonna go for this pile over here, even though it's a bad idea. We have roof access up there, so that we can come back later. I just... I really need something more useful than this. Like, we only got two foods out of this, and I need more. It's a supermarket, so I was hoping there'd be a lot here, but unfortunately, I think everybody else had the same idea. Let's fill out the component stacks. We'll fill out the sugar. Fill out the water stack. But other than that, I think we might be SOL here. Definitely feeling a little bit like we're floating through the soul system. A weapon component. Some extra stuff we might be able to use. Coffee is a commodity. It might be better worth it to bring the coffee instead of that. I don't know if there was any other coffee beans laying around. God, I feel so guilty about not being able to help that girl. Like, I seriously do. It's not something I feel happy about. It's an ugly, ugly, disgusting situation where you've got to favor self-preservation over helping a fellow human being. Because I like to think a lot of people are empathetic and would like to help in this case. And sometimes that's just not an option, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes it's just not feasible. It's not a thing that can happen. I think it's time to get up out of here. I think my nerves are shot. So let's go ahead and we'll close that door on down. So that the next time we come here, don't leave doors open. Because the next time you come through, the door will be open again. And they'll see you the second you come through the front door. What you want to do in this situation is you want to make sure all the front doors are closed. Did I close that door already? I did not. So just in case they're upstairs next time, I need to close this door too. Then we'll get on out of here. So let's close that. There we go. And so, let's get the hell on out of here. 
shit. A bad, bad day. Not the kind of thing that anybody wants to witness or anybody wants another human being to go through. And there's no explanation. It's unfortunately a thing that you can't really be like, we should have done something. He had a rifle. He could have killed us, you know, like... That's where... Yep, see? That girl was so scared. I don't even know if you can step in on that and win. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us. They were very aggressive, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Good. Marco's been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Bruno got slightly wounded, and that is going to get worse over time, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of This War of Mine. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. I apologize that this episode got a little bit rough around the edges. Definitely a downer of an episode. I'll see you all next time.